So I'm making this video to apologize to my customers on Frankie's Free Range Meat. I will send out all the orders as soon as possible early next week, guys, or you will receive a full refund. So please do not worry about anything. Uh, some of you saw the video I posted earlier titled, uh, UPS is destroying what's left of my business. And basically I received about 30 disheveled boxes uh, yesterday and today, and I'm told there's even more still in the UPS holding facility. Uh, tens of thousands of dollars worth of damage, probably just you know 10,000 in raw material and shipping costs, and then God knows how much money I'm gonna lose because of the, the customers not wanting to order from me anymore. And I didn't know what happened. Uh, on the boxes it said return to sender. I called up my UPS rep, that's what he said. Uh, but I found out later that an auditor in the New York facility said that the dry ice labeling on the packages was inadequate. Now I was freaking out because I've sent literal tens of thousands of packages with this dry ice labeling over the past three years. And now this week, coincidentally when all of these other things have happened to my business <clears throat> and I'm basically looking at closing up, I get sent about 30 packages so far, 30 boxes of meat came back. I was told by my UPS guy that there's six to 10 more at the warehouse. Now, I mean, I don't, I don't, I, I really don't know what to do guys. So the packages that were held were going to go on the plane. So the second day air shipments and three day shipments to like the West coast. And what that means is those packages should have been there Tuesday, Wednesday, and been delivered to the customer. Instead, when those packages were brought to the UPS warehouse on Monday, the auditor kept them, and they sat there for three days, four days, until yesterday and today, Friday, in a hot warehouse, the meat going completely bad. So you guys can do the math on that. 30 to 40 orders, 200 to $300 worth of meat per order. Uh, I mean, and, and the way my UPS rep treated it, I called him up and he was yelling back at me saying, oh, well, if something changed and you need to get your labeling correct on the boxes. I was like, what the fuck? I spent $10,000 a week on UPS for three years and this is how you're treating me. Holy shit. Unbelievable, unbelievable. It's actually unbelievable. Uh, yeah, I, I said in that video, I, I think some sort of interdimensional demon has cast a curse on me because I, it, the past few days, I was getting back together, getting back in the groove a little bit, feeling okay, and I said, maybe I can stick this out a little longer. But after this happened today, I, I'm, I got to get out of this before I, I, I end up in jail or something, man, because th I was... I was I was losing it earlier. I was really losing it. I was really losing it. So I'm going to sort this out, guys. I was staring at my computer for 10 hours earlier trying to fix the shipping labels. Uh, I got to go back into the freezer. I got to take all the labels out. I got to cancel them. It's I'm going to be on my computer not sleeping for two days to fix this just so I can get the orders out on Monday and Tuesday. And, and uh, <laughs> the week was bad enough. The, the vlog on Monday was going to be like week from hell, lost $10,000. Now it's going to be week from hell, lost $25,000 because of what just happened. But uh, we're going to try to ship all the orders out Monday and Tuesday. We're not using UPS to say the least. So it's going to be a little bit of a new experience. There's going to be a lot of ice in the boxes. I want to make sure all the product is correct and hopefully everything goes out and it's okay. By, by the middle of next week. So again, I want to apologize to you guys. Please be patient. I'm getting a lot of emails. I'm losing my mind. And not only did UPS do that, you know, send back, you know, 50 boxes, God knows how many I'm going to get on Monday, more to fix. Not only did that happen, but uh, something weird, they got must have got overwhelmed this week and I had to refund about 10 packages just because the meat went bad which has never happened ever in my business. So I'm really, uh, I, I don't think I'm going to have any money left in my bank account by the end of this week. So 
you know, something internal happened. Maybe they didn't have enough space on the plane and said, hey, hold these boxes back for no reason. So something, something weird happened because, as I said earlier, guys, literal tens of thousands of packages sent through UPS with the dry ice labeling, and now they changed their mind and said, oh, no, that's not correct and sent those boxes back. Yeah, okay, you would think they would just send the boxes so I don't lose all that money and all those customers just send it and correct me, say, hey, Frank, this needs to be done differently next week. You think that's what a normal person would do. And then the way my UPS rep treated me seems like this was, uh, I'm finding it difficult to believe that all of these coincidences are, are ha coincidences are happening to me within these past several weeks. I'm finding it very difficult to believe. Have, even if I find a new location to relocate to and get out of this hellhole, what happens when I have a mortgage on a building and then this happens to me again? Um, I, I think I have to do something to force myself to get out of this. You know, I've never been this sick in my life. For I don't, I'm losing track of the weeks, two, three weeks now. You know, I, I've been physically and mentally sick. But it just doesn't end guys it just doesn't end I guess I can address some of the comments you guys have left on my videos over the past several weeks uh, one is to get a new lawyer <laughs> first of all they're all in on it this is the only lawyer I've ever had that has remotely helped me second of all they're just gonna take a twenty thirty forty thousand dollar retainer which I don't have this is this is a big deal guys this is not a small amount of money um, same, same with the amount of money to relocate out of New York guys I don't have I don't have the money to relocate some of you were just trying to gaslight me. Some guy, some guy said, hey, Frank, just run a small meat business out of your basement and get three chest freezers. <laughs> oh, my God. I think you guys are just, I think some people are just messing with me at this point. It's, it's a bunch of fucking comedians, I swear to God. Now, I, was, I, I, wrote, I wrote a script apologizing to you guys saying you, you can get meat somewhere else. And then I, I, I took a check at my competition and all the other meat purveyors online, and they don't, they don't actually have comparable products. And no, there really isn't somewhere else you can get meat online, which is pretty, pretty sad considering I'm your best option. Pretty sad. As no one's really trustworthy and everyone cares too much about money. But um, again, guys, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to try to fix this uh, over the next few days. But I, I feel like I had to make this video because this, this is, it, again, never happened in the history of my business. The damage to me financially, the customers, the reputation because of UPS making this mistake is, is, is unbelievable. And, you know, knowing the, how I've been treated with the legal system and everything, I'm not going to get any money back from this. And I just paid like $25,000 in UPS bills, which I'm never going to see again. So, um, I don't really think I can take much more of this. So, um, I have an idea for a way out, but I just don't want to take it yet for some reason. For some reason. Uh, if you guys are wondering how you can help me, um, hopefully nothing else crazy happens in the next two or three weeks and I can get somewhat back on my feet and then maybe if you guys just place some more orders and increase the business volume, that might be a way to do it. But knowing how things have been going, that's probably not going to happen.